Logan tiene 43 años. Su primera aparición fue en una historieta de 1974. Era un villano. No tenía ni garras ni poderes mutantes. Su creador fue Herb Trimp, quien después de una carrera de 30 años, renunció al grupo Marvel en 1996. Trimp dice que mucho ha cambiado el mundo de las historietas. Hace décadas perdieron la inocencia de los años 60 y 70. En los años 80, cuando dominó la política del estadounidense republicano Ronald Reagan, los X-Men fueron muy populares. La whole idea de X-Men, que, a mi conocimiento, nunca fue parte de su original concept, pero creo que Stan himself introdujo it, y eso fue que, you know, it was a statement against racism, a, a statement against people who are different and how they become mistreated and set aside and limited and so on and so forth. Well, it, it works. You know, you can say that and you can look at X-Men in the movie. Funcionó tanto que el director Brian Singer ha creado todas sus películas con la idea del Estado versus X-Men. Even today, because you have something yeah. like uh, <laughs> the, uh, Professor, Professor Xavier, like Martin Luther King, maybe. I know, I know. And Magneto, like. I, uh, this is exactly Max. right. That's exactly right. So it, it kind of, I think a lot of the movie stuff doubled back into the comic books. Pero Trimp mantiene una postura crítica frente a las adaptaciones cinematográficas de las historietas. But I think sequel movies, you know, it's like making, it's like, I don't know what it's like. It's like, it's, it's, it's like a, you know, a, a classic paint, like a Picasso, you know? And, and then he makes a sequel to uh, one of his famous paintings. You know, there is, I, there is no sequel. Th there's no the sequel. <laughs> the, no, there's, you don't make a sequel to the Mona Lisa. You have to, if you're going to believe that it's art, then you leave it the hell alone. You know, you just leave it be. Wolverine nació como un agente con base en Canadá. Era un villano. Su primera aparición fue en The Incredible Hulk, número 180, 181 y 182 en 1974. The idea was that, of course, the claws originally weren't, in those days with the yellow costume, they weren't part of his uh, skeletal yeah. structure. He wasn't a Nazi experiment yet. <clears throat> they were in the gloves themselves. They were part of the costume. But when he became a member of X-Men, that was, that's where the character exploded. Trim cuenta que Wolverine fue creado por cuatro personas, primordialmente por el escritor Len Wein, quien le dio la personalidad, y por John Romita, quien autorizó una u otra idea sobre cómo debía verse. The ironic part is, uh, it was one of the few examples where I think a villain or a secondary character had four people involved in it. What I like to say, they created the monster, I brought it to life. Like the Frankenstein <laughs> yeah. monster, you know. <laughs>